What's up, YouTube? This is Colton from Mega North. I have a lot of replays I want to go through with you guys, uh, just to just to show you. I've been having quite a bit of success actually uh, on ladder. I'm at fifty three eleven right now, which is pretty good, um, considering there's just under twenty days left in the season. So I'm pretty happy with where I am right now. Uh, if I look through Canada, that puts me um, at twenty seventh. And yes, Voldemort is ahead of me. So is Jirog, but it is what it is. Um, we're doing really good right now. All three of us, we're pushing against it, against one another. I'm a little low uh, right now, but it is what it is. Um, it's fun to compete with those guys. I just want to hop into a few replays here. Um, I have quite a few, so I might watch, uh, show them in two times speed. Um, and just kind of explain... Uh, explain what I do with my deck and, and how it works. So, do a fairly standard hog push. I know uh, when I pair it with Zap, I seem to always have 1700 left on the tower, roughly. So when I just saw those minions, I thought it might have been a good idea to uh, to do a Zap. Because I took, took out half his tower right there. This was a, an aggressive Sparky. Um, turned out all right. I know it's going to be tough to keep the Sparky alive because because I normally like uh, like it a lot farther. But I was able to pair my Tornado with Zap to take out a good chunk of that. And I wait the perfect time to put my Goblins down to, to stab uh, the Wizard and the uh, Bomber in the back. So I'm still ahead. <laughs> I do a push here, um, works out well. He used minions last time, so I figured I'd pair it with Fire Spirit. Worked out good. I kind of made a mistake here. I really thought he was going to go for that side. So I decide right here I'm going to have to go for the three crown because I'm not going to be able to stop that. So I kind of pair everything over here, and it works out. End up getting the three crown. Uh, happy with that victory. And then I played uh, Salaka from Finland, from Finlandia, and he's he's a really good player, so I was happy uh, happy to beat him. Let's hop into that replay. Probably do my princess at the bridge when I have this layout. That's what I like to do, and then I react based on what they do. Um, Sparky's really good against uh, against um, the bar pot. Because it takes out three or four swarms by itself. And I'm able to just do a hog push on that side. Get a little bit of chip damage here. And my goblins. So underrated. Uh, stab away at that tower. My princess just kind of chips away at everything here. I was hoping that would actually um, pull the P.E.K.K.A. back a little bit. But I did it too far away. It wasn't really a good play. But I didn't have the best cards. Gonna do my princess, make him react. Do a tornado, activate the king tower. I don't want to do my sparky yet, really. I was kind of waiting to see if he dropped the Pekka, but I couldn't wait any longer, so I finally did drop the sparky. Um, so I don't know if you could kind of see what I did there. I tornadoed everything back and put my gang down so that um. Uh, what's that guy called? So the Electro Wizard wasn't going to be able to uh, stop. Um, wasn't going to be able to stop my Sparky because it has to go through the gang first. So this is a standard deck we're seeing a lot of right now. Uh, Rainbow from Red Alpha. I'm going to go two times. I decide to do my Sparky at the back. What I really like about this um, deck that's becoming meta is it doesn't have Zap in it. Because people that aren't really expecting, um, they're not really expecting Sparky. 
so I actually have a pretty bad bad start. But I I do manage to recover eventually here. So I know he's gonna go on the other side there, so I do a sideways tornado paired with my gang just to stop that. And I throw my hog in front of my sparky. And um yeah, he has to play a lot of cards, and everything kind of ignored the hog. Um, the tower actually locked on there um, to my Sparky, and the hog squeaked by just getting free shots off, which isn't necessarily a bad play. If you're not having success with Sparky, you can use the Sparky to tank. It doesn't work as well if you have like a level 1 Sparky, but with a level 5, if you're not getting shots off on the tower anyway, it's not the worst thing in the world. So this guy's just trying to cycle here. Um, he's spending all his elixir. So even if he did manage to take the tower, I have a 10 to 1 elixir lead here. I would have been able to take the tower here quite easily. He wouldn't have been able to defend that. I would have taken easily half that tower, if not the whole thing. Um, so I was just preparing, trying to make positive trades while he wasted elixir. So that if he did end up cycling and taking my tower, I'd be able to punish him. For spending for cycling his cards pointlessly so fast. Uh, this deck's becoming a little more um, common to have seen a lot more free musketeers and um, battle ram. So I do my princess at the bridge. I do a zap. I've been thinking about put log in my deck. I've been thinking about putting fireball in my deck. I don't. I found it funny that <laughs> it shot it, yet it still froze my Sparky. So I throw a lot in front here. Just try to take that tower. Again, those goblins, so underrated. And I, I am able to drop Gang and Fire Spirits on that one. So um, he does have a huge elixir, a little huge elixir advantage right now. Um, that's okay. I'm one tower to zero. So I just need to focus on defending, which of course is. Easier said than done. I don't really know what I was thinking there. I don't know why I went on the opposite side. It's kind of kind of silly to be honest. But it didn't turn out horribly. He thought I was completely broke there, and I basically was, but I like to pretend I wasn't. Well, it's nice he said well played. I, don't, I never watched. Um, again, oh, at least I did the, the weaker side. So I'm trying to split his damage here. Um, tornado, Princess. Princess is just doing some serious work. And I do the same thing again here. My Princess, paired with Tornado, is really helping take that Three Musketeer away. Um, and stopping them pretty well. So, good game to him. And... Had a good game against Old Man from Nova, but it's just a draw. Um, I probably should have won, but I didn't. But he's he's really good. Old Man was a uh, he's a fifty eight fifty player, which is a lot higher than I got to last season. Um, so I should be pretty happy with a tie. Um, and then after Old Man, um. Played Chief Pat too. Probably not a real Chief Pat. Um, because there's a lot of them. But, um, I didn't know this guy was a Sparky player. It took me quite a while to actually realize that. Again, when people just do minions with that push, you do decent damage. Um, so, I missed my Tornado on the third minion. But he would have wrecked my whole tower there. So I think I zap too. So he doesn't get that big a push, and I still have a little over half half a health of a of a sparky. Which is not the best. There's not much I can do with how low I am on elixir and how far ahead of me he is. And I probably should have realized this. Um I'm really low here. I am making him spend elixir. <laughs> I managed to get a shot off. Uh, I don't remember that happening, but okay. Yeah, so that's how I ended up taking that tower. 
uh, just throwing goblins in front of my um, in front of my spark, and it worked out. Speed this up a little bit here. Um, so I'll try to kind of explain what I was thinking here. I don't have anything to stop that giant right now. Um, so I need to speed everything up. So I speed that here and I zap it to reset Sparky. And then I can put my goblins on the giant. And then I can put my fire spirits on uh, the minions. I panicked a little bit, um, but that's kind of what I had to do. I do I do throw down gang, but it was a little a little late. What I was going for was for the tower to to target the gang and keep Sparky alive. But he does a good uh, drop here and takes out um, takes out the barbarian there. Um, so he does another push here with the giant. I really don't want him to, to get the tower. So I tornado everything back. Even though he zaps offensively, I tornado everything back. Pair that with zap. And it's pretty much enough to take out the giant. And once his arrows fell, that is when I dropped, um, dropped my goblins. Um, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to do here. This isn't a good, I don't have anything I want, so I just dropped Princess just for the heck of it. <sighs> and then I dropped my Sparky. I don't really know the best way to handle this necessarily. Um, so what I end up doing is using my Fire Spirits to distract the Sparky. And then I do my goblin gang so that um, I'm actually fortunate that blast didn't hit me. And he took that tower, but I'm getting an elixir advantage and I know my Sparky's ahead of his on the charge. So now I can go for a decent push here. So I drop a lot of stuff there. I tornado everything back towards the tower so that my second Sparky shot is able to finish it off. Tornado takes quite a bit of... I've been using Tornado the last three or four months, and it is actually quite hard to use. Um, but once you get the hang of it, there's some pretty cool things uh, you can actually do. Um, got this one too. So I kind of slowed that last one down a little bit just because there's some specific things I wanted to. Um, so I decided to throw my hog down the other side and pair it with a zap because my um, yeah that was that was awesome. I lost my train of thought, but that princess princess paired with tornado is awesome. And then I still have my fire spirits take out stuff like horde. I thought he was low on elixir. Um, so I wanted to capitalize, and now I just need to focus on defending. And I do the same thing again here. I'm a little late on it, because um, he has a lot of air stuff there. But I tornado everything, and my princess is just standing there chipping away at them. And she manages to stay alive. He drops a golem, which is fine. I drop my Sparky. I drop a hog just because I want to bait his air units out so that they get ahead. Um, get ahead of everything there. Kind of panicked a little bit here. So I do drop my gang. I kind of spamming troops just trying to keep my tower alive. And it's a lot closer than I wanted it to be. Um, maybe next time that happens, I'll slow it down a little bit. I do my Sparky at the back again. Now, he drops Rocket, which is not not going to be a good time for me. So I decide to drop my Goblins, and those minions will totally take me out. So I decide to Tornado back and Zap to get rid of um, the minions right away so my Goblins can keep stabbing. Just 
totally panic mode here. I'm just trying to survive this last six, seven seconds. Trying to cycle to my tornado just to buy me a little bit of time. And perfect. That's exactly what I did. He totally would have had my tower there. Um, then, yeah, this guy, um, yeah, that was a, that was a rough one. I don't really want to show it because <laughs> it makes me very sad, but this guy is like 270,000 followers on, uh, on, um, YouTube. So good for him. Uh, he kicked my butt and the, the E-Wiz totally wrecked me and also the Inferno Tower. I couldn't really do much. Um, because he's actually really good at playing that deck. And then um, I was really angry after that loss, so I just wanted to get back up um, near near my buddies in the clan here. Um, so definitely, you guys will probably like the, the ending of this one. I'll, I'll make sure to slow it down. Um, so they don't have the best beginning or middle. Only really the end. <laughs> he does... Uh, a princess. I decided to do a Sparky just for the heck of it. I don't know. I kind of switch up what I do all the time. I tornado everything there. Um, probably bad play. He gets quite a bit of damage here. Wasn't wasn't my best play, but I don't have the rotation I want or anything. Really, really a bad time. And he uh. He's totally dominating me at this point. And even the archer does quite a bit of damage here. A little bit of a better rotation here. What I'd like to do here is make sure I put something in front of um, in front of the Sparky so it's not picking away at her. Drop my gang. And I tornado the horde backwards so I am able to get a shot off. And I zap it. So I am no longer way behind. I have a fighting chance because I got that sparky shot off. I really wanted to get this tower so I had to tornado and <laughs> I actually right there kind of thought I, I lost but I dropped down another princess just in case it got a faster shot off. And it did. Just in time. So now now I'm in panic mode. Or I'm not in panic mode. I need I need a game plan because my tower is way down. Um So I know he's gonna come in with the RG and I wanna do a hog and gang push in the center with fire spirits. So I am ready to tornado his um RG backwards. I sat on 10 way too long, but I do hog, I do gang, and then I tornado his RG, and I drop fire spirits all at once, and they just go to town. Mmm, 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 feels so good. All right. So how is that? So I'm currently at fifty three eleven. Um. um okay, let's see if I can do this here. All right. Don't tell Lord V, but I'm going to try to pass him right now. I'm probably going to lose. 
because I've been going up against like max players, like top top level players. But you know what? I'm gonna try to do it live. Well, this is live for me. Um, if I lose, I lose. Whew. All right, going in. Whew. Apologize in advance if I have any bad language. Try to keep it clean. These wait times. Whew. Another YouTuber. Good luck. Mute. That's fine. Whatever. What's he got? What's he got? A log? Do you have a log? Is he broke? Alright, that's a good start. Yeah, baby. I think I want to put... Let's hope he's pumping for a giant. I don't really want to see three musketeers, and I don't really want to see... Uh, I definitely don't want to see. You know what? In case he's quit. Okay. I thought there. <sighs> don't have a log. Don't have a log. Don't have a log. No! I thought he was giving up with how long he was waiting. Not the case at all. Ah. Come on. Oh. <sighs> Got that down enough so that he might want to go for the three crown. Yes, baby. <sighs> I just realized I haven't taken the tower yet. No. Oh, yes, baby! Silver! Gotta rub it in his face now. That was a good battle. Heck yeah! <laughs> All right, that's a great way to end it on a live battle. As you can see, I get quite animated when I play. Um, I definitely got too aggressive there, just going for the second tower. Um, I'm a little bit at a disadvantage because I mute. I, I'm not sure if he said good game. I really thought he was just uh, quitting. But that turned out really good. Um, happy with that. Um... He's made it to 5863, so I think I have a shot this season at breaking 5800. I've, I've beaten quite a few uh, 5800 players, so I'm pretty happy uh, with the way that went. So, 
All right. Take care, guys. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, until next time, clash on.